Do you work in Tampa and live in Lakeland? Is that commute really worth it? Today we're going to take a look at the top pros and cons of making that determination. You may be surprised. Stay tuned! Did you know out of the top 100 highest paying jobs in Lakeland, with the exception of doctors and high level medical specialists, that over 80% of those jobs have an entry level salary of $42,000 a year? That's not bad considering the national average is $41,000 a year. But take a look at this. The same top 100 jobs in Tampa, there's a significant salary increase, especially in the medical and tech fields. To put this in perspective, if you have a job in Tampa paying $50,000 a year, you can expect that same job to have a salary decrease to $42,000 a year in Lakeland on average. To see where your income falls in these top 100 highest paying jobs, I put a link to these lists in the description for you. If you drive from Lakeland to Tampa each day for work, chances are you have to get on I-4. There is only one east-west interstate connecting Tampa to Lakeland to Orlando. Many dread this drive because of the congestion, the semi-trucks, the worn roads, and for some reason this particular interstate has a reputation of crazy drivers. So is the average 8.5% higher paycheck still worth the commute? Let's take a look at what 8.5% gets you by living in Lakeland and working in Tampa. Looking at this cost of living index, comparing Tampa to Lakeland, there's one huge difference that jumps off the page. Check out the median home prices, a whopping 25.9% difference. To show you what 25.9% looks like, this four bedroom, three bath, three car garage with a pool recently sold in Tampa for $400,000 and the property taxes were $4,700 a year. Compared to this four bedroom, three bath, three car garage pool home that just sold in Lakeland for $350,000 and the property taxes were $3,100 a year. And check out this huge difference in new construction. This four bedroom, two bath, newly constructed home just sold for $407,000 in Tampa. This four bedroom, two bath home in a newer community just sold for $261,000 just last month in Lakeland. I did a little math for you. Using an average monthly two-person household income working in Tampa and adding back their house payment savings and your core basic living expenses, you can expect to save over $400 a month per person on average. And not to mention the lower health care costs and the cost of transportation and miscellaneous costs like restaurants and entertainment, all of which are about 3% lower in Lakeland. Overall, that's approximately 11% total monthly savings difference. All that being said, is the commute from Lakeland to Tampa worth it? Simply put, if the average pay increase is 8.5% by working in Tampa and you can save over 11% in core living expenses by living in Lakeland, you're actually making money living in Lakeland. For a closer look at Lakeland's cost of living, you want to check out my earlier video. In that video, there's actually calculators in there that you could apply to your own personal situation. And if you or someone you know is thinking about relocating to our beautiful city, please enjoy my free 21-page guide, Relocating to Lakeland. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.